Assalamualaikum. My name is Sharfana Pruna Binti Said Yusof and my metric number is DE190146. In this video, I will do the simulation for activity 3.3.1 which is open loop position control. So first, uh, we will construct the block diagram using MATLAB Simulink. So what we need to construct this block diagram is constant. Gain Integrator Transfer Function and also display Now I will connect each of uh, the block diagram and I will label each of the block diagram. Now let's set the parameter value. So for the potential meter gain uh, is 0 0.6111. For the electrical part, uh, it consists of inductive and resistive values. So for inductive it is 0 0.121. And resistive value is 11.2. And for mechanical part, it consists of moment of inertia and viscous friction which is 0 0.222 and 0 0.003 respectively. Next, uh, we need to check the block diagram is functioning or not. So to check, uh, we will set the input angle value to 1 and the actuality gain also 1. Then, uh, we will run the simulation. So, this plot diagram is functioning since it shows a value at the input voltage and also shaft motor position. Uh, now we will start to observe the shaft motor position by set the actuator gain to zero and increase the input angle uh, from zero until 10. So let's run this simulation. Now I will uh, change the input angle to one. The actuator gain is still same. Then I will repeat the step uh, by changing the input angle until 10.
So from the simulation, we could see that when the actuator gain is set to zero, the shaft motor position will not change from the initial position. Only the input voltage will increase as the angle increase, input angle increase. Now, uh, let's set the input angle to zero and increase the actuator gain from zero until 10. And let's see what happened to the motor shaft position. Let's run the simulation. Now I will change the actuator gain to 1 and I will repeat this step until the actuator gain is 10. From the simulation, we see that when the input angle is zero, the shaft motor position will remain static at zero position. Even though we increase uh, the actuator gain, it will not affect the shaft motor position. Now, I will set the input angle and the actuator gain according to table 3.2. So first, I will set the input angle 5 for the clockwise direction and the actuator gain is 1. Now, I set the input angle to negative 5 for the anti-clockwise direction and the gain is still same which is 1. Now, I set the input angle to 10 for the clockwise direction and the gain now is uh, 5. Then, I change uh, the input angle to negative 10 for the anti-clockwise direction. Now, I set the input angle to 360 for the clockwise direction and the gain, uh, the actuator gain right now is 8. Then I will change the input angle to negative uh, 360 for the anti clockwise direction. So from the simulation, we can conclude that as the input voltage and uh, input angle increase, and the actuator increase, the input voltage and shaft motor position will also increase. So if the input angle negative, which is indicate the input potential meter direction, the input voltage will have negative value as well as the shaft motor position. That's all from me for the simulation of activity 3.3.1. Thank you. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Siti Nur Hashim Babiti Muhammad Razali and my matrix, my matrix number is AE190046. So today I will present to you uh, question uh, 2. Close loop position control system uh, for experiment 8. Okay, so for question two, first of all, we need to uh, construct the block diagram of a closed loop position control system by using MATLAB simulink. So this is our um, block diagram. Okay, so to make sure uh, either the our our block diagram is functioning functioning or not, we need to uh, key in input angle and attenuator gain uh, into one. And then we run it.
Okay. Okay, so if the input voltage and shaft motor displays display uh, the value, uh, so that that mean our block diagram is functioning. Okay, so next question. Uh, we need to uh, increase step by step value of input angle from 0 until 10 and set attenuator gain uh, into 0. So uh, we set the attenuator gain to 0. And then input angle um, zero until one. Okay, so okay. For example, this input angle one and the attenuator gain is zero, and then we run. And then uh, we observe uh, the input voltage and shaft motor uh, display uh, the value. And then uh, we increase uh, step by step uh, the input angle and do the same uh, procedure uh, which is observe the input voltage and shaft motor and uh, see what happened to the system okay and then for next question we increase step by step value of attenuator gain from 0 until 10 and uh, set the input angle to 0 uh, then observe the shaft motor position display and what happened to the system okay uh, basically for this question we need to we need to do the same uh, procedure but we need to uh, increase the attenuator gain step by step 0 until 10 but the input angle is uh, we set to 0 We set to zero and we observe the input voltage uh, and shaft motor display and uh, see what happened uh, to the system. Okay, next. Uh, we need to set input angle to uh, 5, 10, and 3, and 600. Uh, positive for potential meter clockwise and negative for anti clockwise okay so the input angle 5 okay. and the attenuator gain uh, is 1 based on the table given on the question And we join. Okay, so this is the input voltage and this is the shaft motor. Uh, and we need to record it uh, into the table. Okay, so this is for clockwise position. So for anti-clockwise. We need to put negative sign and then run it and basically do the same thing uh, which is record the input voltage and shaft motor display. Okay and then okay. 
So uh, that's all uh, for question two. Uh, that's all from me. Thank you.